Hello everybody, this is Andrew, also known as Nature Man. Today we're going to be talking about the differences between two types of sugar maples in Indiana. Now, two types, you might be asking? Yes. Now at one point in time, this other quote-unquote sugar maple was its own species, and at even one time was considered a wild variety of sugar maple, but it is now officially classified as neither of those, but it is a subspecies of sugar maple. Sugar maple's botanical name is Acer sacrum. Botanical name of the black maple used to be Acer nigrum. Used to be, used to be Acer sacrum variety nigrum. Now it's officially Acer sacrum subspecies nigrum. It is a subspecies, not a wild variety. It is genetically different enough from the species to be classified as a subspecies instead of just strictly a wild variety of sugar maple. And it's not different enough to be its own species. It is clearly a form of sugar maple. It is not genetically different enough to be not considered a sugar maple. I'll show you that. Plus another tree that looks, the leaves look exactly like a maple, but is in fact not even related to maple at all. Here we go. What we have here on the far left is Acer sacrum subspecies nigrum, the black sugar maple, the black maple. Typically larger than a sugar maple leaf, which is right here, though not always the case. Sometimes sugar maple leaves are larger. So going just off leaf size alone is not an identifier usually the lack of pointed edges and the lack of a deep sinus in the upper part of the leaves is a telltale sign that you're looking at a black maple versus sugar maple. Sugar maple, see the deep sinuses? They're usually far more little pointed ridges on the top. Black maples always lack that. They're usually less defined and usually basically it's just a bigger leaf with less deep sinuses and less points. That's sugar maple, deeper sinuses, more points. See that? Very distinctive. Now sugar maples, <clears throat> sugar and black maples can be yellow, orange yellow, orange red, yellow orange red. The color is different from tree to tree, it can be genetic and or environmental. You can find an all yellow sugar maple, all yellow orange, all yellow orange red, orange red and all red. It varies. You see this one's yellow and I found one with a little bit of orange in it. <laughs> this one was more orange red with a little yellow. But again, we're just looking at the leaf shape, not the colors. Again, colors do not determine variety and neither do the size of the leaves. Now, I will admit, typically black maple leaves are bigger than sugar. So that can be a part of your identifying, but not alone. Now, these four leaves are of sycamore, Platanus occidentalis, the American sycamore, not even related to a maple. Their bark looks completely different. It's like a brown bark that peels to show white. But their leaves resemble that of a maple. What's different? They're usually the biggest leaves. They're far bigger than any maple. So that's obviously a telltale sign. Their leaves are huge, and a lot of times they can be three or four times bigger than this. Sometimes two or three of my hands put together. And they normally don't have that good fall color. Usually they either fall off yellow, green, or brown. This is an example of a little bit of yellow and brown. This just fell off brown. That fell off yellow, green. That fell off green, brown. The color is not that good. They can literally fall off green or yellow or yellow, green. They're pretty terrible. They lack the sinuses and lobes that the maples do. Now it does vary. These two have no pointed edges, none. This one does. That's how it gets the name sycamore maple, <laughs> even though it's not related to a maple. There's always a lobe in maples, whether it's a black maple, true sugar maple, silver maple, red maple. There's gonna be the sinuses, uh, sycamore trees have virtually no sinuses. Maybe a little bit here or a little bit there, but they're, they're pretty distinct. If you're going strictly by the leaves and not by the bark, I'll tell you, looking at a bark of a sycamore, it's not even, <laughs> not even fair game. Uh, I'll show you some. You see those white bark trees out there? That's sycamore. Very obvious that that's not a maple. So also look for where the leaves fell from. Where, what tree did they come from? That's another way to identify it. But they get the name because they look like a maple. The lack of sinuses and pointed edges, and especially the defined sinuses which maples have, that's the easiest way to tell them apart. Also, looking at the size of this sycamore leaf, much bigger than any maple leaf that I've ever seen. I don't think any maple leaves get this big. Here to my hand, it's huge. Hope you all found this video fun and educational. Now you can go out and identify your own trees. This is Nature Man signing off. Bye.